if you're looking for tips on how you can flirt, then you came to the wrong place. I suggest you go somewhere else. Hey guys, what's up? This is Hope Slice here, and welcome to a Friday, another Hope Slice video. What, what? That's so awkward. Not gonna keep that in. Today, I thought we would talk about uh, something that is very personal, um, just so that I can be a little bit more open with you guys about, and that is flirting. Because if there is one thing that makes me really awkward, it's flirting. When I get inside a room, of all these normal people, I'm good, you know, I'm really great. But if I see someone attractive, like an attractive guy coming my way, I freeze up. Like most normal girls, when they're trying to flirt, they would say something like this. So, I like lost my phone number, so can I have yours? <laughs> then the guy would of course respond with, Yeah girl, no problem, I'll give you my number. I'm always there for a girl in need. Now when a guy is flirting, they usually seem to be a little bit more in control. So they'll say something like this, and they're a pickup line. Hey girl, did it hurt when you fell from heaven? Cause with a face like that, you must be an angel. And of course, a girl who's normal would just gush and goo over all of that like this. Oh my gosh, that is so sweet. No one's ever called me an angel before. And yes, it really did hurt. But me, I'm not like that. I have such a tendency to be really awkward around guys. I don't know what it is, but it just happens natural. If I'm not really good friends with them, I'll usually just clam up and turn really red. Like usually this is my flirting face. tell a story just to prove how awkward I am at this in real life because I'm sure people don't believe me right now. At my job um, over the holidays we had a lot of traveling to do with our products and everything and this was at my retail job and me and this other co-worker we were traveling with some boxes of candles and whatnot and the candles were stacked super super high on the cart. We went around the mall and everything and then we got outside and this was my first time going outside onto the sidewalk with a cart that's full of just products in general. And I didn't notice this until I got closer, but there is a dip into the sidewalk. But my coworker said, oh, Hub, do you want me to help you with that? And me, being the stubborn girl that I am, I said, nah, man, I totally got this. As soon as I hit the dip, I realized, Hope, you do not got and I tried to save it so hard, but because they were stacked so high, the boxes of candles like just flew all over me. Like, of course, my coworker, being the human that she is, she started laughing. And I'm a little embarrassed, I'm not gonna lie, but I just started to laugh at all because what else am I gonna do at this point? And then out of nowhere, I see this figure like coming towards us and they're messing with the boxes of candles. My reaction is, oh my gosh, this person is going to steal the candles and they're bigger than me so I definitely can't take them and they're going to steal the stuff and I'm gonna lose my job over this. After I freaked out for about 2.2 seconds, I then realized that they were actually helping us and it was a guy. And I had never seen him before. So he started putting the boxes of candles back onto the cart. And I thought, man, this is super sweet. Then I got a closer look at him and I realized, okay, this guy's a little bit attractive. Okay. And I clammed up and I was like, like I froze. Like I didn't know what to do. Like I was putting bo boxes back on the cart with him. And I couldn't really say anything but thank you. So and he didn't finish helping us until all of the boxes were back on the cart. And so a normal girl who was good at flirting would say, hey, thank you so much. Uh, what's your name? And so of course she would get her name, maybe even a number if she was that bold. But me, I just said one last time with a shaky voice, thank you. He just left, leaving me and my coworker to do our job. Now, I have since figured out 
that he was wearing a Panera uniform after I thought through our little awkward interaction. <laughs> and now every time I go to Panera on a lunch break, I just make awkward eye contact with him. Like that's all I can do. Meh. So that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed my super awkward story. And if you guys have any awkward instances when you were trying to flirt but it didn't work, please leave them in the comments below. I would love to know that I'm not alone in this. And also, of course, if you like this video and if you're awkward at flirting like I am, please give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe as well. I hope you guys have a great weekend and I'll see you next Friday with another video. Goodbye!